Collateral stars Tom Cruise, Jamie Foxx, Jada Pinkett Smith, and Mark Ruffalo. It was written by Stuart Beatty and directed by Michael Mann. It was released on Blu-ray January 24th, 2010 and runs 120 minutes. Michael Mann knows crime and he knows cool. He brings both here in Collateral. When mild and meek Max, a Los Angeles taxi driver, picks up Vincent, an out-of-town hitman, he's essentially held hostage for the night until Vincent finishes his hit list and has to find his strength to save himself and the last target. When the police find out a cab driver is involved in these killings, Detective Fanny, played by Mark Ruffalo, is the only one who believes Max is not responsible and may be at the mercy of someone else. The determination to find and help this cab driver he doesn't even know comes through in Ruffalo's performance. He soon makes a connection between the people Vincent is killing and a case the FBI is working on. Fox does an equally convincing job as the scared, insecure Max, and Cruz does a fantastic job as Vincent, the cold, blunt, no-nonsense and logical hitman, at points treating Max as if they were partners, at times having deep, revealing conversations with Max about life and living in general. When Max starts his shift picking up various fares, there's a nice contrast transitioning from day to night, where the tone for the rest of the film is set. The first few minutes of this movie are so mellow. Even when Vincent first gets into Max's cab, that mellow continues with some sweet, calming classical music playing as they converse, lulling you into a false sense of security so when shit hits the fan, it really hits. But don't expect a lot of action here, just a great story, great cinematography and acting. There's lots of great depth of field work, turning the various points of light into a kind of artwork, and with that extra light getting into the camera, even the intentionally dark scenes are easy to see. Michael Mann is in his element here. As mentioned before, he's a master at shooting nighttime scenes. The colors of the night are interesting too. Warm yellows and reds from street lamps and stop signals. Green hues from building lights and go signals to cool blues of the nightclubs. The music ranges from licensed to a somewhat uneven original score that ranges from generic to inspiring. We visit three nightclubs during the span of the movie. A jazz club, a Spanish club, and an Asian dance club. So there's a lot of different flavors on the soundtrack. My beefs include mumbling dialogue, like in most Michael Mann films, mostly from Cruise here. And a bullet that grazes Vincent looks kind of ridiculous when you see the angle the bullet was shot at. Overall, Collateral is an interesting movie with a great story, great cinematography and acting. It may be too slow paced for some, but I believe it's definitely still worth watching. 8.5 out of 10.